We use headphones every day, whether we're listening to music, gaming, talking on the phone, basically every time we do something that requires us to hear sounds loud and clear without disturbing anybody else around us. But have you ever wondered, where do headphones actually come from? Who invented them? When? Why? Stay tuned to find out! In 1891, the French engineer Ernest Mercadier was working on a set of in-ear headphones designed to be used with telephone receivers. After extensive testing and optimization, he was able to produce miniature drivers that could be easily inserted into the ear canal. Mercadier's earbuds were remarkably close to the earbuds we use today, down to the use of rubber tips in order to make them more comfortable and sound isolating. Of course, stereo sound wasn't yet invented, so even though you had two drivers, you just heard the same sound in both. But these were earbuds, they sat into your ear. The first device that was more similar to what we would call headphones was invented in 1894 by a British company called Electrophone. They created a system that allowed their customers to tune in to news or live performances from theaters and opera houses across London. But their headphones didn't really look like the headphones we use today as you can see in the picture. There is a link in the description down below where you can read more about Electrophone if you're interested. In order to find out more about modern headphones, we need to go a little bit further in time to the year of 1910. The American Navy was experimenting with early radio communication and inventors from all across the nation were sending in letters and prototypes of their inventions. One of these letters came from Nathaniel Baldwin, a Utah native who invented a prototype headset in his kitchen. First, the American Navy didn't really take him too seriously, but eventually they tested his prototype and found out that it was actually a drastic improvement over the model that they were using at the time. With the help of the military, Baldwin tweaked his initial design, padding the adjustable headband with leather, and soon his version of the headphones became the standard one used in the US Navy. The next big step of our little story is the invention of stereo headphones, headphones that could play a different channel into each ear. Stereo sound was pioneered by record label EMI in 1957, and only one year later, in 1958, American jazz musician and audiophile John C. Koss invented the first commercially available stereo set of headphones. He also started the Koss Corporation that continues to design and manufacture headphones even today. His ideas were immediately copied by other headphone manufacturers standardizing the design of stereo headphones for years to come. The standardization of the 3.5mm audio jack started with the release of the Sony EFM 11 7J radio, released in 1964. And since we mentioned Sony, we can also probably attribute to them the ubiquity of modern headphones, as the release of the Walkman in 1979 really made them popular all over the world. Since then, headphone models got better and better and here we are today with tons of models, some going more towards portability while others trying to bring you the best audio quality possible. They are a great way to listen to sounds privately without disturbing anybody around and they usually provide a better price to quality ratio than loudspeakers. They are also great for video games that use 3D audio processing algorithms, allowing you to actually hear the position of off-screen sound sources like an opponent's footsteps or gunfire. Just make sure not to crank the volume up too high because continuous use of headphones at loud volumes can actually lead to temporary or even permanent hearing loss and you don't want that to happen, you don't. If you enjoyed this video, why not hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Also hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button if you want to be notified each time I upload a new one. Thank you for watching, I'm Andrew Dandrew, till the next one, have a nice day everybody, see you!